making a rock out and keep going. No stopping. All right, here we go. Dwarf. very similar to one of the other ones I loaded up before. However, I can get this one a nice big beard. You gotta get the, uh, the dwarven stash out of the way first though. That's always a big part here. Seems like dwarves are always my resort go to for the, something to draw. Something about a drawing a big bearded character. It's very man. Viking, whatever you want to call him. Um, he's very... Could be very pissed off. We'll say that. Well, he, he looks kind of like... I don't know, he looks kind of mean bugging right now, so... Ah, uh, yeah. I had to get, you know... Gotta go get something, like, nice and scraggly for the beard for... Or for Viking or whatever. That eye is horrible. By horrible, I mean this figure. And you know, we're gonna have a have a, a blind eye. Okay, a little bit of a frame to his face here. Obviously they like facial hair. 
I could do like a, a like a scarred face kind of thing. Sure. Burn victim. It's not exactly far fetched for a dwarf. Well, it's kind of like the dwarf I have my D and D companion. He's the half beard because his beard was basically burned off in fire as he was tortured. So, yeah. And he's jumped into fire and everything since. Because he doesn't exactly fear fire, so. Oh, yeah, uh, God, I can't remember his name either. Yeah, the Fire Nation. Yeah. Okay, let's go. Sure. Uh, no need for an eyebrow. Oh, okay, let's go. Splashes here. Just a little bit. Just anything not burnt. I guess this will uh, be better since I lost the other broadcast of another dwarf like guy. Silver to get back. Had to go AFK. I think I lost Duff along the way. Just trying to give me some advice. Just trying to take it. However, there's nothing I can do quite yet but right now about any of the advice that he's giving Unless I want to draw squares. You know what? I'll put, I'll put a cross on my other character that I did, so I'm gonna put a cross on this thing. Or half a cross on this thing. This will be, uh, let's say, Paladin esque. <laughs> Burned by the light. Yes, I like it. Yes. You know, I can just call this fan art. Like, you can say this is like WoW art, you can say this is D&D, it's whatever people think it is. Yeah, but then there's me talking over it. Gotta get out the shell. Hey! Welcome back, Silver. Thanks! I think it's uh, somewhat manly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm working on it. I'm working on this one in real life, right here. I'm gonna have the braid and everything. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, if I got to it. Uh, Oh man. I don't know if I want to do chainmail. This is a lot of rings. 
Yeah, I can uh, easily erase it right there. Alright, yeah. Yeah, that's that's just a lot of time doing circles. Nobody wants to watch you just draw circles. or an axe, and it's typically an axe because I like the words. Props to whoever drew on chainmail the hard way. Yes, yes, I will say that. I mean, like I said, I, it, I could do it, but it would be a pain, and it would take quite a long time to sit there and draw all of the individual rings and how they link. Because I've actually made chainmail in real life, and it's it's interwoven very uh, intricately. Witness, I've seen it. Yeah, yeah, you've seen my chainmail. Uh, it's my friend Eric in the background still, by the way. Yeah. No reason not to. I mean, just because everyone else doesn't want to watch me actually stream it doesn't mean they won't want to watch a video of it, right? <laughs> right. We gotta uh, give him a sleeveless arm here because I'll probably do like a tattoo or something here. I don't know what I want to do. Good chest. Oh no, it's worth it. Or it's totally get tattoos. No. Made a rubber band chain mail? What? How is that possible? You have to actually detach and attach rings for that. Do they like rubber band slash metal? Huh. Yeah, I know there's a lot of different ways you can make chain mail and a lot of like, a lot of creative things. Yeah, I've never heard of rubber band. Ever. <laughs> Ever. Yes, it is unique. Something different. Uh, I'm gonna go with a. Yeah, yeah, it's more for the band aid, that makes sense. Absolutely no sense. If that's what you mean. Design here. When I think dwarf for tattoo, I think like, you know, flat edges and such, so you have like, kind of like a carving aspect to it. It's dwarven runes, right? I hate you. I really do. Yeah, we'll just we'll leave it like that for now. Very basic dwarf here. 